What is up, everyone? NYKF31 here, Madden 18, Sim Standard Radio League Online CFM, year one, week number two. Um, just an FYI, uh, this league, I believe, is full. The one where I have the Jets is full as well. Um, I do have a link in the description for the Sim Experiment Online CFM which has some openings if you're interested in being in an online CFM for PS4. I don't know any that are going on for the Xbox One. For whatever reason, the online CFM scene, as far as I'm aware of, isn't that big on the Xbox. It is on the PS4. There's a lot that you can find on Operation Sports. But um, Xbox One, I just don't know of any. Maybe I'm wrong. I think the Madden Bomber League is on Xbox One. I'm not sure, but anyhow... Um, you have this. <laughs> you have me for your um, PS4 online CFM viewing needs. But here we are. This is our home opener against the um, Tennessee Titans. We're coming off a week one win over the Raiders. I won in week one over the Texans. So back-to-back uh, -back division opponents to begin the season. So this would be a big early season game as far as getting a leg up on divisional foes. And this game represents a contrast of um, wills and styles. Um, the Titans have a lot of muscle on the offensive line. And the Eagles, thank you very much, Philly, traded Fletcher Cox to the Titans as well. Um, Titans are giving up a first rounder this year and next year as well as either a second or a third. I don't remember. So that makes my life a lot harder. And plus on offense, the um, Titans had a lot of muscle on the offensive line. And the Jags front um, seven, they're built for speed. Um, not a whole heck of a lot of um, beef and power outside of Calais Campbell. And you know how I roll. I'm not going to take a lot of risks early and start looking to stop the run and shooting gaps and taking risks of opening up passing lanes and you know being wrong if I blitz the wrong gap and the run goes elsewhere that's how you give up big games but here's the situation we need to get the game in we need to get the game into the hands of Marcus Mariota throwing deep downfield his accuracy ratings start to fall off the further he has to go downfield and we get the INT as Barry Church is Johnny on the spot. So we hold up there. And again, like I said, I'm not going to go YOLO until I'm absolutely forced to. And we begin trying to see if we can spread the field a little bit, get some running lanes for Fournette, and manage Blake as best we can. Week one, Blake was a little bit shaky. So we're going to have to see if we can pound the ball and not get the game in his hands too much and you know, there we start with the block shedding up front that's going to be a problem Jags O-line isn't that great it's pretty average I have a rookie left tackle who's going to develop pretty nicely but other than that I have a 79 overall guard who's going to get injured at some point in this game and the rest is pretty much about average don't do much there a little play action pass and Mariota is in UFO mode early we like that Third and four with Ramsey and Bouye on the outside and Talvin Smith and Miles Jack at outside back. I feel pretty confident in man coverage. And uh, third and I would say, you know, four, five, six, seven ish and busting out some man one. We do some man one robber with a spy and we get him off the field there. So back on O. Back on O. Mercedes Lewis gets lost over the middle. And we get a nice little game there. Gonna get a little bit more aggressive here at the good field position. And there's Arakpo. Arakpo beats, I think that's Cam Robinson. And third and 15. Protection holes, and we hit Marquise Lee with him off to a pretty strong start. They need to get a way to get D.D. Westbrook onto the field. I don't know who to take off. Robinson stays on the field, obviously. Marquise Lee's been playing well. The sacrificial lamb may be Alan Hearns, which is going to be tough to do because Hearns is not that bad. But Westbrook is uh, faster. His catch and route ratings at this point are pretty similar. He's just smaller. So, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. So, we're in third and 20 here after a holding penalty. We're on the 36, so worst case scenario, I don't want to do anything dumb. My worst case scenario, I want to shore up a at least a field goal attempt that's pretty reasonable. So we're going to try the slip screen here. He sees it, but it's a little bit late. And 
I'm able to get the ball down to the 30 to you know, make the field goal a 10 more manageable. Didn't want to take any risks there, get another sack, or have to throw it downfield too far with Blake this early in the game. So we tack it on there. We go up 3 nil. Back on O. He's going to try to hammer. I, <laughs> I go for the hit stick, but I guess the angle where I'm at, I go and undercut the um, lineman instead. So big game there for Henry. And another one here as he just goes rumbling through my defense. Henry's got 88 yards rushing already on nine carries, so that's not good at all. Wide receiver screen. Miles Jack almost gets out of there. The Dags are so fast, but he gets uh, picked up just well enough to allow Decker to um, get some yards. So again, third and one. I don't. Every now and then, guys get lost when, you know, multiple tight ends are on the field and they get screwed up as far as who to pick up. So he gets a nice couple of gains there in the, in the air. And at the 10-yard line, we got a hole. He does back the pass again. No one's open, no one's open, no one's open. Malik Jackson fights through and we get the sack. Big sack there. I was using Dante Fowler as my spy. I it up. I had Calais Campbell spy there and we're able to hold him and we just barely stopped him short of the marker there on third and long, so he's able to the field goal there on fourth and short. Tie ball game. So, two and a half minutes left. We finally get some traction on the ground. Winning on the has been pretty tough. Only have 10 yards on four carries. So, second and one. Come on, Blake. Allen Robinson with some space to move. So, we're in good shape marching here. Blake is six to seven. Play action screen. <sighs> I cannot stand when that happens. I get a possession catch animation on the screen. It was well set up. We have to come back and hit Mercedes Lewis on the post route. Mercedes Lewis isn't the best receiving tight end on the face of the earth, but, you know, he's doing well enough so far. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Try to pop the run. Yeldon. I always worry about Yeldon fumbling, but he's able to, you know, get a nice little nine-yard gain there. I had to keep extra guys in the block all game. Retention holds nicely, and we hit Marquise Lee on the post route. Go Blake. Let's go. Ring it up. So 10-3, third quarter. Arapo's giving me some problems there. He's being a problem. I'm going to have to slide towards him if that keeps up. Stick it along where I don't want to be. Breeds a lot of zone blitzes. I barely get it off. And Robinson gets back the yardage there in second and ten. Starting to percolate on the ground now. First half was a little bit rough. Up to 24 yards on six carries. Not, you know, great, but at least respectable. Got to make sure I have the left side blocked. We do pick it up. Square in. Allen Robinson is going to work now. Same song, different verse. Make sure we have the left side blocked. Going up top, and that time his defensive back stands up. I don't know who he has out there. I think that's a Dore. But um, he stands up there and makes the play. Go back to the ground now. Fournette. Fournette is a friggin' beast. He's so good. He's starting to get heated up. Rumbles down there. I give him a break and go to Ivory, and Ivory fumbles. Ivory of all people. That is big. That's really big. I was ready to go up. 17 to 3. That would have been huge, but no. Got him backed up here if he bring his own blitz. Gets picked up and, you know, gets you know, out of the shadow of his own goal post down to the 15. And he goes Wildcat, and I have no idea where the right side of my defense went. They were just all gone. Come on, guys, help me out a little bit. Huge game there. Well timed corner blitz here. I sell out here to stop the run and. Ramsey gets him for a big tackle for loss. Second and long. Goes play action. We're on it, we're on it, we're on it, we're on it. Dante Fowler gets in its face a little bit, and we get the user pick with Paul Puzz. Second dying tee of the season. Let's go, Paul Puzz. We're going to test that press coverage outside again. But this time, Allen Robinson gets a step, and he is going to go to the house. So 17-3 on the big play from Blake to Allen Robinson. Very nice. So with 116 left in the third, up 17-3. Don't want to give up anything cheap. I also want to keep him in the pocket. So here we go. Let's go. Let's go defense. And he missed the halfback. Wow, I completely overplayed that. He ran an angle. I thought he was going to run an out. But um, Decker gets open anyway. 
And then again, who's that? I don't know who that was, but they got right open again in the corner, so he's marching pretty good. And I get stuck on my defensive lineman. Bad things always seem to happen when that occurs. I'm in man coverage, and Mariota takes the ball right out the middle on the scramble, and the one's there. Touchdown. So that's unfortunate, but he shanked the extra point. Strong crosswind this game. Crosswind for the win. A little shotgun power. I'm in the Jets playbook, and what I like about the Jets playbook is there's a lot of formation in the shotgun. We can run both directions, but Fournette fumbles. Stiff armed a couple of guys, but he gets the ball punched out, so he's back in it again, and in the very next play, that's frustrating. Had an opportunity to really salt the drive away, but we're going to end up tied now. A couple of really costly fumbles, so 17-17, play action, Mercedes Lewis getting loose again. Mercedes Lewis having a good day, and he's able to find some room back on the ground. Fournette doing his thing, not fumbling this time, he's up to 86 yards now, so after a slow start, he's in rhythm. He's kind of backed off on the zone blitzes a bit. Here, this is a um, big boy throw by Blake. That's, a, that's an arm strength throw. The hitch against the, on the far hash. Blake has the arm. It's a matter of him being accurate. In this game, he's been throwing the ball really well. Back to Fournette. We're creeping up on 100 yards rushing. Hit Marquise Lee down the seam. Let's go. Let's go. Let's punch this in. And let's get back on top. We're back up a touchdown with a buck 21 left in the game. Boom, Calais. Calais Campbell stands up. That's why we got you. When we can do that, we can put in our speed rushers on third and long. We got a lot of them. We got Dante Feller. We got Ngawe. We got um, Malik Jackson. And this was irritating. I send the spy, but the defender gets sent as well. And that opens up the receiver. Not what I had in mind. Here we go again. Let's go. Sheldon Day gets in there. Sheldon Day, my old buddy. Wake up the echoes. So second and long. Swap patrol, swap patrol, swap patrol. Get out of there. 14 seconds left. Third and 16. Man across the board. Spy. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him in. Here comes Campbell. Oh. Oh. That hurts. So it all comes down to one play. No one open, no one open, no one open. Three seconds left. Come down to one more play. I think he tried to sneak it back into the seam there, but we're on it. He's got nowhere to go. He has to. He probably went further than he wanted to. Pass the line of scrimmage, and he got stuck there. Tried the lateral. There was no one to lateral the ball to. So that's how the game is going to end. So the Jags start out 2 and 0. Oh. 24-17 victory. We have the um, Baltimore Ravens, who are also 2 and 0, oh, coming up next week. So. Strong start, really strong start here. Tough game, good game, but we get it done. We had some rocky moments, both in run blocking and pass attention there that we had to get shorn up. Uh, we got the run game going in the second half, and we got the pass attention sorted out. Arakpo was really the only one that hurt us. We made sure that we got his side um, protected. We were able to get some things done, so that's what you gotta do. Gotta figure out what's going wrong, and you gotta fix it, and we did just enough, so there you go. You're undefeated 2-0 Jacksonville Jaguars. Getting it done. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to y'all later. Peace. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL.